It really is getting quite hard to keep track of these facilities. The Federal Reserve this morning announced two new facilities aimed at easing pressure in the credit markets and getting people lending again. The first is a 600 billion facility to buy up mortgage-backed securities and to buy up debt issued by the government-sponsored agencies. This is very clearly trained at getting mortgages down. Buying up MBS isn't a new idea. The Treasury has been doing it on a small scale since Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were taken into conservatorship in September. But this is a far bigger tool for the government to try and, try and beat those mortgage rates down and help homeowners. The second facility is a 200 billion facility whereby the Fed will lend against purchases of newly issued asset-backed securities. That is securities backed by credit card debt, by student loans, by auto loans and by loans to small businesses. Now you can already see that this is very clearly a package of measures aimed at helping Main Street that we've heard so much about rather than Wall Street. But there's a couple more points to note. Firstly, to some extent there is the Fed having to clear up unintended consequences of past actions here. Um, the FDIC's guarantee of bank debt last month to some extent helped contribute to a rise in mortgage rates as investors found the prospect of that paper guaranteed by the FDIC more appealing than, than paper backed by, by the government agencies. Um, now, the second point is that we're again seeing new measures and new structures being deployed to respond to this crisis. The Treasury say we'll be putting 20 billion of the TARP funds into the consumer ABS facility. So this is a way for them to get more bang for their buck, really. They can put 20 billion in, the Fed will then lever that up and to an overall facility of 200 billion. Now, ultimately, the question is whether this works. At the end of the day, the consumer remains over-indebted. Households are still carrying a huge amount of debt. And they are facing house prices that are still falling, as evidenced by data out this morning, and rising unemployment. It may turn out that Main Street and the US consumer just really isn't in the market for lots more loans at the moment.